I'm sure this isn't clickbait. I say to myself as I click on the video. He's called Tech Smart. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? Keaton here. So, I've been reading all your comments, and I keep seeing one comment on every single video thousands of times. I think we need to talk. So, yeah, guys, a lot of you have asked me, like, yo, what's up with your left hand? Like, that's a pretty interesting scar. Are things okay? Like, how are you doing? Like, just, like, a lot of you guys are concerned. And before I tell you, I know this is kind of weird, but make sure you have my notifications turned on. Just ring that bell and comment down below telling me you've done so. I comment back after the first hour after every video goes up. That was a lot of words there, but you guys are really awesome to talk to and super chill. And now to tell you, like, what's up with my hand. You want to know how I got my scar? What happened was is I was on this plane and I was sitting next to this really attractive girl that I liked. All of a sudden, like mid-flight, I heard someone scream from the back. I'm like, yo, what, like, what's cracking? Someone said it's a snake. So basically, I saved the entire plane from snakes. Everyone made it. The girl made it. Things are going well with that. But the snake bit my left hand. You are a psycho. <laughs> So after I saved the entire plane from snakes, the pilot got like food poisoning. Every passenger on this plane will have fish for dinner. We'll become violently ill in the next half hour. Just how serious is it, doctor? The food on that flight was like a little eh. I had to go and land the plane. I landed it on the Hudson, but I don't really know what Hudson it was. Maybe it was like another Hudson Bay or something because there, it was completely isolated. So we all swam to the island. I got this volleyball that I named Wilson. Wilson! And we were just hanging out and trapping. A fishing boat found us on the island. All of a sudden, a fly. Did I kill the fly? I did not kill the fly. A fly comes in and basically this boat saves us all, takes us away from the island. And as we're chilling in the Hudson Bay, that's in New York, right? No, that's the Hudson River. The Hudson Bay is a store that you buy expensive clothes from. But basically, I'm on the ship, we're chilling. The captain must have had the same food as the plane person, uh, the pilot, that's what they're known as. He gets food poisoning, so I have to command the entire ship. As we see an 80 foot wave, I have to save everyone. I go over the wave with the wheel spinning real fast. <laughs> After we get over the wave, everyone's chilling. I almost see New York City with the Hudson River. Got it. All of a sudden, we get boarded by pirates. <laughs> Some guy tells me he's the captain now. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. I let him say, you know what, you can be the captain. I get off the boat, he takes everyone, hopefully they made it back to New York City, I don't really know. I get off, I take a plane all the way up to Canada, ride my boosted board, fall off my boosted board at like 26 miles an hour. <laughs> Go to the ER, and that is how I got my scar. That beats me. So yeah, you probably heard that story before. It's a tale as old as time. You probably heard that like your parents told you it or you heard it in school or whatever. But yeah, that is actually how I got my scar. I fell on my booster board like four months ago. It's crazy that it's been four months already. Head surgery. Now I have this nasty looking scar that I'm trying to get away with like scar pads. But yeah, a lot of you guys have asked me like, am I okay? Am I like self-harming or things like that? And that's not really funny. Like suicide isn't a joke. And the only reason like I'm bringing this up is a lot of you guys think I'm gonna kill myself or something like that. Uh, if you know of someone that like is in a situation like that and are concerned, please have them call like the suicide hotline. The number's right here. It's not funny. Like it's not something I wanna joke about or anything like that. But I just really thought I needed to tell you guys because I have literally seen a thousand comments every single video asking me, what the deal? Like, what is up with the scar here? Let me know in the comments if you guys know anything on like how to get rid of this and make it not look like a snake bit my hand and then I had to go to an island, command a ship, and then fly a plane. Please let me know. I make videos with my hands, so you guys have to see this for the rest of time. So this is a group effort right here. But yeah, my hand, it, it's feeling better. I've been going to physical therapy for the last month or two. And yeah, I'm almost done. I can move my hands again. It's lit. Punch you in the face. <laughs> I could rock you, dude. No, 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 no. Ow. Ow, I think you hurt my hand again. That was like a rug burn from a table. See, so yeah, guys, thank you so much for actually caring about my hand. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks so much, Rainbow, Caden, and Mackenzie for being this week's notification shout out. Go ahead and get subscribed to the channel if you're not already. I upload four new videos a week. And also go ahead and tweet me at TechSmart. Send me some cool tech or goofs or memes or whatever. And uh, don't forget that uh, I am the Keaton now. Is that how I really like talk and look? <laughs>
I made my bed my valentine. Literally, guys, it's one in the afternoon. I love this day. <laughs>